It's very hard to put the empty quarter into words. It's so big and so vast, and there's so much magic there. It feels like a fantasy land, and it feels like you're just in a dream world. Maybe just over two years ago, I decided to embark on this expedition. The whole project then evolved to become a breaking down of stereotypes. The whole focus changed to, to women and Omani women. This expedition hits a lot of things, but our main message is breaking stereotypes, showing that you know women can do anything. They're as good as men. Three of us believed in the message. Uh, three of us believe that, you know, are committed to that goal. You know, we're going to go through this, you know, no matter what happens, and we're going to reach that finish line. We are a responsibility, we can say we carry the, uh, the equipment with us, from a food, fuel, water, and also for in case of emergency. This expedition, it evolved into something far, far more important than I could ever have imagined. First day walking, I've got sand everywhere, in my ears, up my nose, and yet I love it. To get an injury on the first day, you know, I had to think how I'm going to cope for the rest of the 30 days or whether I should just, you know, quit because I would just hinder the whole team. Today we chose to go for a flatter uh, route and we chose to go around the dunes just so that we can help Athir get over her injury. Looking forward for the next 30 days. So far, we've got into quite a nice routine and we actually hit the 100K mark today, so 700 kilometers to go. Actually, it feels good to have my tools free out there to do whatever they want, no pressure on them. I think I'm gonna be wearing flip-flops for the rest of the expedition. We walked 22k today, and it's the hottest day. There was no breeze today at all. Yeah, good thing. Where did she go? Veda had an incident this morning. I need to add it to my injury She makes list. us wake up in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> it's a head torch injury. A head torch uh, <laughs> accident. Oh God. 12.1 to the next checkpoint. We've only got two checkpoints today and it's just misery. I think Janie's feeling a little bit of pressure and she was a little bit um, kind of attacking us for not walking faster. How do you motivate people? How do you push people that push back? Yeah, we're going to a point where we can't walk. But we also need to get out of the desert at some stage that we will get out. The other option is, is mm. when uh, an injury gets worse and then someone has to pull out. These girls, they're not reaching their potential yet. They might have done mentally, they might have done academically and intelligently, but certainly not physically. I feel that we have done a lot of effort and I felt that, you know, we're being underappreciated. And how would you go with that, with the relationship that we have right now? Um, or I don't know. I don't know, maybe I miss my family. I think I need to take a moment, breathe, and have a little bit of time out. Not too sandy. So much sand in my socks. I would have put tea in there. I'm gonna do it anyway, actually. Okay, just at the 
just would like to see the car. <laughs> Feel a little bit more, you know, I don't know. Like know that the end is near. I'm making uh, mechbus. Uh, in Oman, we call it mechbus. What is that? But <laughs> if the GPS was down, you can trace this little. As we are going through the desert and going up north, we are seeing less and less life. Um, I do miss it. I'm glad that. Um, I think things are better between me and Janie. I think we sort of zeroed down on what was causing that disruption. It's not about me, it's about us, and it's about us doing it together. We are getting closer and closer to everything. Tomorrow is another day, and uh, it will be interesting to see how it pans out. Let's move quick, let's get 25 down by lunchtime. The sooner we finish, the better. You know, because it's the last day, it's exciting. It's been painful, but it's been, it's been beautiful. You know, there was this little sort of like elevation, and as we were going up that elevation, I could see Ebri. And I was like, oh my God, this is Ebri. We've done it. I can't pin my toes, so at the moment... We are right now in the process of trying to send our message. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the good, the bad, all of it, all of it. It's actually just about people and emotions. They all work together as a team. And I was one of the lucky people who was part of this team. Of course I'm proud. It was a one-in-a-lifetime experience. I don't think I can go back to living just a normal life.